Hey guys. First stop. First stop. <laughs> ice latte. Chugging ice lattes. Like, like, like. Dude, this is Casey Nice Dad's house. Oh, I was Ooh. All right. We're in New York. We're, NYC. We're out from the cold of Toronto. Look who we're with. My wife, Ariana, and Brian Kaysen, also from Moment. Brian's our boss. Yeah, Brian is our <laughs> boss. So we are out here in New York. This weekend is the Moment Film Festival, which we are super stoked on. And just trying to vlog and make some content while we're out here. But also shoot some more with the anamorphic lens. Wow, pro. Yeah, are you pro? Nice. How's it look? It looks good. I'll, I'll be back with my final review in two minutes. All right. So like Caleb said, we are in New York, and I think- I said it, foremost, we're in New York. First and foremost, we just want to thank you guys for all the support on Kickstarter. I mean, Jesus Louise, like, yeah. honestly, like, yeah. I don't know, I'm speechless. What do you have to say, Brian? Nothing, because I'm speechless. Yeah. <laughs> also speechless. So all we're trying to say at the beginning of this video is thank you so much for backing the Kickstarter. If you did, this little anamorphic lens right here is going to make the mobile filmmaking world a better place. <laughs> oh. And we're going to give you guys some more footage as well as some tips on how to use it, when to use it, how to make it look just, just buttery, perfect shots, man. How to get the most out of your anamorphic lens. Let's go. <laughs> Tip number one to shooting with our anamorphic lenses is to get a filter mount and an ND filter. This is gonna keep your shutter speed down, which is gonna give you that perfect motion blur when you shoot the 180 degree rule. So right now we're shooting 24 frames, so our shutter speed will be 148th. That plus the anamorphic, <laughs> that plus the anamorphic is gonna be the most cinematic. Let's get a shot, let's get a shot. Alright, Niles is just getting the shot right now. It looks really beautiful in here. This is the first time I've ever actually been in this building. And if you're ever in New York, definitely check it out. Looks really cool. I just got a moment out on Instagram. Okay, so you just got back from shooting all that beautiful footage, all that good, glorious, anamorphic flares and yeah, so now you have the footage, you have your files, and essentially if you didn't shoot with an app that already de-squeezed the footage, you're gonna have a file that looks a little bit squished in like this. Um, essentially now this is the part where you have to de-squeeze the anamorphic footage. So this tip is basically to make sure you de-squeeze in post or in the app that you're shooting on, and I'll show you how to de-squeeze right now in the app or in post. Is it good? All right, so we're back at the house now. I wanted to quickly show you how to do the de-squeeze method within the camera app, Filmic Pro. Super, super simple. All you do, you hit this little gear icon down on the right, you click on hardware, and there's the Moondog anamorphic adapter icon. Um, Moment will be in there shortly, I hope, but basically you click on that and that actually properly de-squeezes it for you, so you're already good to shoot. This is how you would do it in Premiere. Okay, so in Premiere right here, you have your clip that you can tell um, is squeezed in a little bit, 1.33 to be exact. The easiest way to do this is you right click on your clip in the library here. You go to Modify, Interpret Footage, and then you go to Conform To, which is in this little sec second section. Conform To, and there is a 1.33 HD anamorphic. You choose that one, and that will actually turn your clip immediately into widescreen. So it's literally that simple. You right click on the file, you hit conform to the 1.33 version of the aspect ratio, and then that's your clip now. Looks <laughs> bad. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go get some coffee quick, and then go to our meeting. Sick. Yeah, dude, of course. And then we're gonna go to our meeting with Tom. Oh, he said ice lattes. Yeah, that's my dog. <laughs> I mean, is this stuff water, dude? Whatever. We're in time right now. 
Alright, here's Time Magazine. And then, basically, it. So, those black bars kind of have to happen now. Alright, boys, good meeting. Yeah, that was awesome. Pro yeah. level meeting. High fives. Yeah. I almost lost the counterweight, but I found it. So, the rest of the day, we're just trying to maybe meet up with some people, probably try to find a skate park. Do some more tips with anamorphic. All right, we're gonna get Sarah's first impression on the anamorphic lens. I already got filming pro. Okay, good, good first step. That's a great first, great first step. Great first step. Similar mounting solution. You can do it over both lenses, but we'll start with the wide. Okay. Woo! Wow, pro. Yeah. Are you pro? Nice. How's it look? It looks good. I'll I'll be back with my final review in two minutes. All right. So yeah, we just showed Sarah the lens. She seems really nice about it. What are you doing, Brian? I'm uh, trying to do some stuff for Instagram stories. Oh, okay. Content on content. Yeah. Just stacking content out here in the lower east side. Nobody has this lens yet. It's super rare. Like Pokemon. It's awesome. Craig, yes. what do you know about anamorphic? <laughs> uh, Wes Anderson look. No, it's like, it's a look that we're all trying to get, but I don't think anyone knows how to do it because you do need like special gear for it. Yeah. So this makes it easy, right? Yeah. For everyone. Yeah, for everyone. I have Jesse, all of Jesse's stuff. You can get like <clears throat> your name. Alright, so this kind of sucks, but they want me to skateboard, and I'm very insecure about it. Um, I thought John Hill would be here, so he could skate and we could film him. So now I gotta exercise my kickflip. What do we got? The Osmo gimbal with that universal moment weight to make things happen with this this lens, this anamorphic lens, but all of the moment lenses. Because now Why we would got you that shoot weight. with a gimbal, Sarah? Because we want the smoothness. The butter. We're, we're gonna be skating. Yeah. Did you get that? Did yeah. You get the, this is me skating. Okay, so we're yeah. gonna be doing that. So things have to be smooth. All right, so Sarah is getting some shots of Caleb right now. I think he's a little nervous because she dates John Hill, who shreds. Oh! Jesse's girl! Okay, so we're shooting, running around. Sarah, how are you liking the anamorphic? She loves it. John's coming. <laughs> Caleb will be excited. He's like, Nolly inward heel, I'm sticking this trick, John's coming. Dude, your boy's here. <laughs> you were coming here. So we John Hill. What's up, dude? I'm Niall, so good to meet you. All right, so a lot of you have been asking about photos on the anamorphic lens, and this is something that we honestly haven't really thought that much about. Anamorphic is typically just for video. It is made specifically for video. Um, but it kind of got us thinking, like, is this something you can actually do? Should you take photos with it? It's gonna be a squeezed image. Like, if you look at me right now, can you see it? Yeah. I look squeezed, don't I? My face is skinnier and all squinched in. We are planning on building something in the moment app that does de-squeeze it for you. So yes, you could take photos and uh, de-squeeze it, but you're gonna, you're, you're gonna get that same like cinematic aspect ratio. It is something you can do. We never wanna limit your guys' creativity on what you can make. So if you want cinematic photos, it is possible. You just have to de-squeeze it, same as video. All right, so we are back at the house and we did find a de-squeeze option for photos. It is an app. Um, rightly called D-Squeeze on your phone right here D-Squeeze Okay, let's r let's run through this quick. It's pretty easy. All you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the, the app You're gonna open up your squeezed photo. There's a photo of me. I look ridiculous That's fine. You're gonna hit use template right here use template. You'll see at the top 1.33 X built into the app all you do is you tap that you hit go and then it's gonna export out a stretched image for you. It'll save to your camera roll. Make sure you give it permissions. And then, boom, you have a stretched out cinematic image. 
should just sit on a city bike. Up and we are walking to film our last tip and we are currently being recorded. All right, everybody. So for our last tip, we are gonna talk about flares. So one of the best things about an anamorphic lens is something we've already mentioned multiple times and that is the flares you get. They are beautiful, they are horizontal, they're cinematic, they look awesome. Um, so one thing to note is that when you want a big flare, you want a very drastic flare, you shoot directly into light. When you want a softer flare, you kind of want a little side light. It can still be in camera, but just a little off to the side. And yeah, it looks great. It's something to definitely hunt for. We call it flare hunting. We, we, got, we, we got flares. We got some good flares. You want to look at these real quick? Yep. I'm seeing them. So that's a direct. So that's like direct right there. You want a little softer, you're going to go to the side. You're going to see a little haze there. Then your flares are getting smaller and smaller on that side. Okay, so what's, what's going down? Uh, I'm gonna go grab a couple boosted boards and we're gonna give these boys uh, their first boosted board experience. See how, it. see how it goes. So the important so the important thing to note here is that Caleb's never boosted boarded, is that what you say? Boosted sure. boarded? And <laughs> boosted? Yeah, never boosted. So we're not gonna tell him, we're just gonna surprise him. It's gonna be great. I've never done a boosted board. You've never done Never. Sarah, can I borrow your face for a second? Yes. Hi, Sarah. Dude, Hi, Jesse. A boosted... we made this happen for you, bro. A boosted board? Is it my oh. birthday? Dude, Cody just hooking it up, face. bro. All right, first boosted board ride. This will be a separate YouTube channel. Caleb rides a boosted board. Okay. After my first ride, I felt exhilarated. I felt like I finally lived a little, and now we just stepped it up to pro mode. Cody hooked it up, and here we go. Let's go, dude. You're a pro now. This thing's fast. All right. My review is that boosted is too fast for you kids out there. <laughs> I'm like old now. I'm like, all right, kids, wear a helmet. Like, that's don't sketchy. hurt yourself, dude. That's sketchy fast. That's fun. Confusion. So we're at we're at Cherry's going that. Cherry's way. going that way. So we're Pike and Cherry. John's got a moment case. No worries. No, it's not a big deal or nothing. I'm just supporting the family. I'm a yeah, dog. the moment fam. You can hear me, dude. Good skating. You guys are amazing. You're amazing. I don't know if you guys do this, but these guys are amazing at skating. It's <laughs> no. insane. Uh, it was good skating with John. So much fun. You any, guys are amazing. Any last words? Uh, what you guys are doing uh, is a great thing for society and people, and um, I love you. Progress daily. And keep going up.